Skid steering 101. Got Mike learning how to run the cat today. Had him on it yesterday a little bit. They, uh, we got up here just a little bit ago. I sharpened my saw and we're back to trying to buck logs. They got the skidder going just a little bit ago. I don't guess it was anything major on that winch. I guess it was just a thing with bleeding air out of the lines, which, you know, we were bleeding the lines yesterday and just kept getting air and kept getting air. And I'm no mechanic, which is why we had our mechanic come up here. But I think he said like 10 minutes he had everything up and ready to go running on it. And it's pulling like it should now. So this afternoon we'll go back to pulling some wood see what Mike's doing here <laughs> Mike doesn't know what he's doing <laughs> he's learning anyway we'll go back to getting some logs out and trying to get this landing filled up a little bit we're gonna try to work all weekend hopefully the weather holds which I don't think they're calling for any bad weather or anything that'd slow us down but just cut this jewel in two we're gonna Stack it apart. You can go ahead and grab that top log, Mike. Yeah, we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll see if see if Mike can grab it here. At least see what it looks like. It gets a gets it apart. Watch him start back up here. Old cat needs a bath pretty bad. I was looking at pictures from a year ago, and of course the decals are getting scuffed up. I've I've scuffed them. That bugs me to death because I like everything to try to look pretty pristine, which you can't expect to keep these log machines clean or working in dirt or forestry conditions. Come on this side here. I try to face all the logs one direction with the little ends, so I like to. I've got, I don't like to grab them from that way. I like to grab them from this way to set them in there. Let's see how Mike does. He does it, Mike. Whoop. Cut off, good. Cut off real good. That is one heck of a chunk of wood right there. All the way down to the bottom. Pick up, here you go. <laughs> Mike will get there. He's never really ran equipment too much. His, his dad had a pretty prominent uh, pump business out of Stockton. So he's been on a backhoe just a little bit. I don't think Don ever let Mike do too much, but Mike's been around some equipment and construction most of his life of some sorts. He's done quite a bit of real estate development, things like that. He's extremely educated, but he's he enjoys coming to the woods with us. He likes he likes doing what we'll let him do. Well, you're getting it, Mike. Come on. <laughs> He'll learn. He'll learn. Quite a piece of wood right there. Quite a piece of wood. Doing some quick work to the crossing before we go back to the deck out here. We're making pretty good progress right now. Some good wood coming out. It's nice to be able to keep things going. Mike, he's been doing pretty good in the skid steer actually. I'm I'm really surprised actually how well he is doing on this thing. Uh, for someone that doesn't, doesn't have much experience on a machine at all, any kind of machine, he's really, he's just, like I said, surprisingly doing very well on the skid steer. I know you probably can't see anything from my dirty windows there. Mike's back here waiting on the deck. I'll put him back in the skid steer. Kenny's dragging. I just had to do a little touch up work to the crossing. Keep things moving nice and smooth steady flow means a lot I need to get Mike to clean this windshield off good stuff coming out to the deck good stuff there. you can see it 
go up here and shut this down. I'll mark and buck. Mike, he's gonna unhook chokers. He, like I said, he's the entertainment value of Mike Smith alone is incredible, but he is he's pretty handy to have around just for things like this. He's doing good on the skid steer. It just he, he saves the guy some steps at the end of the day. The more steps you save, the more turns you can make, the more money you make, the quicker you can get a job done. Sun finally come out. Turned out to be a pretty nice day. Mike, he's getting a little better all the time, it seems like. He's still kind of learned some tricks to it, but it's uh, it's nice having him do that, that I can take more time and focus him to cut these logs. And when Kenny comes out the turn, I unhook chokers and go back to marking and bucking. Of course, and that gives Mike something to do, too. I've been, uh, it's been hard to keep the chain sharp here. It's... I don't know if it's an old construction side. There's, you see some gravel and stuff in here. So it's just, you can't, some of that, there's so much dirt and stuff we've been dragging through. It's hard to stay sharp. So every so many logs seems like I'm sharpening my saw again, but logs like these, you really gotta take time to study them to make sure you get your cuts right to get the most money for the tree. Um, it's like I've stated before. I mean, your, your log deck, marking your logs makes or breaks you. I mean, it really does. It's a big swing in things. You can easily make your money. You could very easily lose your money if you mark your logs right or wrong. Uh, a lot of guys I see that, and it's usually people that, you know, call you. They've decided to cut trees themselves. They cut everything in eight foot length exactly. Well, I've seen a lot of people take good logs like these and cut them in eight foot length. Well, we're making a lot of 16s, 18s, and 20s out of some of these logs. Some are just 8s, 9s, 10s, and 12s. Mike here, he don't know what he's doing. <laughs> then uh, the lumber on the top, you, I try to study that as well because I don't like to have any short logs. But at the same time, I don't like to throw anything away. So I do make a lot of 9s and 10s. We get a little more money for our 10 foot logs, so I try to make as many 10s as possible. Same with 9s. They just bring a little more in the 8s. 6s uh, and 7s, I try to stay away from at all possible. We do. We do make some 6 and 7 foot logs from time to time just so we don't have any waste. Because sometimes you just can't help it. But if at all possible, I try to, I try to make everything 8 and longer. I really like them 9 and longer. But it just depends on the log, how clean they are. It's just where they're going to cut off good at. Because some of these logs, it's like you can gain an inch. If you cut them at a swell, like this one here, we've got it kind of marked at a swell right here. Of course, it's got a cat face right here on the swell. So that cat face will bring it down a grade anyway if we were to leave it any longer. So we'll cut it right here and pick up an inch on the cut and still have a real good log. Just a lot of tips and tricks. My dad showed me over the years. I don't mind working the log deck uh, anymore. I, I talked to some guys yesterday about about the skitter problems, and man, I just like these skitters. I'm not a mechanic of any kind, but I I've got to the point where I just don't want to run a skitter anymore. I absolutely hate running a skitter. It's a necessity a lot of times, but if I can be on the log deck or on the skid steer, or if I can be cutting, that's where I want to be. I you know, started dragging logs with dad when I was 13 years old. And at the time, you know, for several years, I thought it was the coolest thing in the world. And as time goes on, you kind of seek your thrill elsewhere and any more cuttings kind of, I love to cut. And Kenny and I are taking turns cutting timber on this job. We're both been cutting, but there's a lot of trees hung up and that's all we're dragging out to the deck right now is just getting everything that's hung up, trying to get them cut, drug down and cut off, pulled out here to the deck and sorting and bucking. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and get these bucked. That way Mike can get in here and we'll add to it. We're shutting her down for the day. A little after four o'clock. We're uh, here in the subdivision. We're kind of tearing out early and we'll be starting late, especially this weekend coming up being Saturday morning just because trying to be respectful of the people that live here. And as loud as we are, that's kind of why we're shutting down early. So 
got some pretty good pieces out. This little jewel here, I think she measured 18 feet, 23 inches. Got quite a bit of lumber above it. Pretty good pile of logs. Adding up fast. Mike's parking the skid steer. Tomorrow we'll start again. Add do it all.